It was late summer two years ago, and I was on a scuba diving trip in Bali. We were about 30 feet below sea level in the middle of the ocean. Being an avid diver, I was excited to see what kind of creatures I could find. I had my waterproof phone case ready to document the entire experience. Before we dove down, however, the guide warned us that no mobile phones were allowed during the dive. We had to stay focused, aware of our environment, and not let any distractions get in the way. At first, I was kind of upset about not being able to use my phone for the dive. After all, I wanted to capture all my dive experiences and was eager to show off my skills to my friends. Even more, I was concerned about not being able to contact anyone in case. Something happened. But eventually, I accepted that having a mobile phone in such a delicate environment might be distracting and agreed to the restriction. The dive itself was extraordinary. I was able to witness things that I had never seen before. Schools of fish, coral reefs, and turtles were still in the area. I forgot about my phone and just enjoyed the ride. Fortunately, when we resurfaced, we were able to take a break. During this break, our guide told us we could use our phones as long as we didn't make too much noise. I quickly took out my phone and started capturing all my memories. I was relieved that I could still take pictures and videos, especially since it was so hard to describe those sights with words. Overall, the experience of not being able to use my phone made me appreciate my environment much more. The future of food is an important topic to consider as the global population continues to grow. It is estimated that the population will reach 10 billion by 2050, which will impact the global food supply. There is a real possibility of food shortages in the future due to the increased demand for food, as well as changing environmental conditions such as climate change, natural disasters, and water scarcity. In response to these potential food shortages, people's food choices will need to change. People will need to focus on eating more plant-based foods and reducing their consumption of animal products, which are the most resource-intensive type of food. Eating locally grown food and reducing food waste will also be essential in order to ensure there is enough food to go around. In the future, people will likely access food in a variety of ways. This could include growing their own food, buying food from local farmers, and utilizing food delivery services. Upscale restaurants will likely continue to exist, but people may have to pay higher prices for their food. Additionally, new technologies such as 3D printing and lab-grown food could provide alternative sources of food in the future. Ultimately, the goal should be to ensure that everyone has enough to eat, regardless of their location or income level. I recently visited Times Square in New York City as part of an annual trip with my friends. We were all excited to explore the buzzing energy and myriad attractions, and we were in awe of how lively and vibrant it was. We arrived at Times Square and were bombarded with lights and sounds from the sprawling city. We absorbed our surroundings, laughing and watching the diverse street performers. I had never seen so many people in one place, which was both intimidating and amazing. We enjoyed taking in all the sights and sounds of the city, along with the temptation of all the local restaurants, shops, and attractions. We also snapped pictures to remember our time there and in front of the iconic TKTS sign for the Broadway shows. We even explored a few stores, taking time to try on sunglasses, hats, and other clothing items. Though, after a while, the crowds were overwhelming, we stopped in one of the local stores to take a break. We decided to buy a few souvenirs to commemorate our trip and sit and rest. Once we were feeling more recharged, we decided to venture up to the top of the Empire State Building and admire the gorgeous views of the city. We took the elevator up to the top and enjoyed the stunning sights that stretched up to the horizon. It was a breathtaking view of the city skyline and all the busy people below. Overall, it was mesmerizing, and I can't wait to return. The iconic sights and sounds of the city left an unforgettable and lasting impression. I read an online article yesterday about healthy living. It was an informative piece about nutrition, exercise, and lifestyle habits that individuals can adopt to be healthier. The article discussed overall well-being and how it is promoted when maintaining a healthy lifestyle. 
The article began by stating that eating the right kinds of foods is essential to good health, highlighting the unsaturated fats, proteins, carbohydrates, vitamins, and minerals found in a healthy diet. It suggested incorporating fresh fruits and vegetables into our diet while avoiding processed junk food. Additionally, proper hydration, regular physical activity, and adequate sleep were highlighted as vital for sustaining a healthy lifestyle. The article went on to bring up mental well-being and how our physical health impacts our mental health. It also highlighted some tips for maintaining positive mental health, such as eating nutritious meals, exercising, and socializing. Furthermore, the article provided information on improving emotional well-being, such as connecting with family and friends, pursuing hobbies, setting limits, and asking for help. This article taught me that having a healthy lifestyle requires effort and commitment. Eating the right types of food to fuel our bodies and minds, exercising regularly, and making time for good mental health habits are essential. I recently watched a performance at the Fox Theater in Atlanta. This performance was a musical, and it featured a variety of talented singers, actors, and dancers. The musical was based on a classic fairy tale, and it had beautiful costumes, unique sets, and elaborate choreography. The cast captivated me from the play's opening to the closing song. The dancing was superb, and the vocal performances were just as impressive. I was particularly impressed with how the chorus sang together beautifully in harmony, each note blending together seamlessly. There were also some remarkable acrobatics and energetic choreography, which I loved watching. The show also included a number of comedic one-liners that gave the audience a few light-hearted laughs interspersed with the serious storyline. Additionally, the play had some amazing lighting, which helped to set the right tone for each scene and emphasize certain moments. Overall, I think the most impressive aspect of the performance was the vital connections and emotions between all the cast members. I really enjoyed the performance and was very impressed with the talent and hard work that must have been put into organizing the show together. The musical left me feeling inspired and in awe of the power of entertainment and art. Everyone present was in complete admiration for the excellent performance, and I'm sure their actors left the stage with a standing ovation.